It's a hobby that's went wildly out of control. <laughs> My name's Tim Isaac. I'm second generation of family operating the business. I don't have a job title because I'm self-employed. It's a military vehicle collection which got out of hand in the 1980s and it had to be sold or had to evolve. So it evolved into a museum. So Dad started collecting things in the 1960s, bits of farm machinery, items he found in scrapyards, things from uh, antique shops and the collection grew and it grew and it grew. Well, I've grown up with the family business and it's become my hobby whereas dad grew up with a hobby and made it his business. So we've got three hangars all crammed full. I think we've got about 70 vehicles, 400 different examples of deactivated small arms and then we've got artillery and we've got trucks and jeeps. It, it finds us as much as we find it now. You go to a you go to an antique shop you just pass the window and you see something that you can't pass by. You've got to go in and find out how much it is because you know you want it. It all has an insurance value, of course. What can I say? A tank like the Russian T-34 I'm here on is, I guess it's a £50,000 tank, something like that. Mm. We hire out props for films. We hire out vehicles for films. Recent films, Woody Fury, was an excellent film from, uh, from our point of view. We had a, a Sherman tank on it and, and myself as a sort of a mechanic on the set for the tanks. Wonder Woman, slightly less military, but there was a military scene in it. Now, recently, we've been doing filming with the MOD, remaking training films and things like that. So that's been probably the best of all, the, all that type of work because it actually shows us how these things are operated properly, professionally, unlike us bungling around. <laughs> I reckon half of them are driving. All of them have been driven. There's one that's lost its engine. There's one which has got a fairly big mechanical failure, but uh, there's half of them are ready to go. They're basic, they're very simple. Four on the floor gears, very crude, very effective, really. Restoration is quite a big part of it. A lot of the vehicles when we find them are just wrecked. Uh, so at the moment, found a Canadian Ram tank, very rare. Um, it's taken, taken about five years to track this vehicle down and to do a deal which was involving uh, three or four different tank collectors. We've all done a bit of a swap so that each of us has ended up with a tank that we want. I'm gonna have to sell something to make room to put it in the museum. However, yeah, the, the, it will be part of the collection and we're building it to drive it. The, the intention is absolutely something to use, yeah. Next for the collection, we don't have a shopping list anymore. The only thing we ever wanted in the last 36 years of being open is a Canadian Ram kangaroo tank. We've now got one of those. I don't think we're gonna stop collecting. Mm.